everyone, this is Andy Salmon with uh, CNC Underwater Photography. We're at the DEMA show in sunny Orlando, or cloudy Orlando, in rainy Orlando, Florida. And today we're going to talk about the YSD3 strobe. This is our new strobe, the YSD3 Lightning. It's a complete redesign. It is our premier strobe. The electronics have been redesigned, and we're getting a guide number of 33 out of it. We're getting recycle time as fast as 1.5 seconds at full power. And we're down to 0.6 seconds, just over half a second at half power. At quarter power, we've got no recycle time, basically. The strobe's features uh, are an 80 degree beam angle native. It comes with two diffusers, a 100 degree diffuser and a 120 degree diffuser, which of course do reduce the guide number just a little bit. We've got a couple of different um, um, accessories for it. We have, uh, this is a mock-up actually, so you can't see light through this one, but it'll look like this basically. And this is a dome diffuser that takes you out to 150 degrees for your rear wide angle and fisheye shots. We've also got a new snoop for it. You'll notice that our targeting light is up at about the 12 o'clock position, so in order to make sure the targeting light comes down the end of the snoop, we put a prism inside of the snoop. So when you put the snoot on, you want to make sure, of course, that's up at the top. So the targeting light comes straight out the front. Um, the accessories that go along with these products are, are pretty low price. They're about $90. The strobe, I think, is going to come in somewhere around $800, $850 or so. Still uses four AA batteries, just like the YSD2. Similar battery arrangement in the back. We still have the backlighting on the back of the strobe, so it tells you what mode you're in. And then the power controller on the well, on the other side as well. And then we've got uh, some increased um, dimensions onto the power switches and the mode switches as well, so it's a little easier to reach with big hands or if you've got gloved hands. Um, and that's it. We still uh, allow the uh, the fiber optic cable and the, uh, the sync cable as well, so you can use either one of those with uh, with the stroke. That's the YSD3. I'm going to show you the new universal dome port. We call it the UDP for short. Um, this dome port is uh, very unique in the industry. It's not glass and it's not acrylic. It's actually made of a product called Planext. And that product has all the good characteristics of glass and acrylic, even improvement. We're getting actually a 98% light transmission through it. Uh, the best optical glass gets is 92%. So we're very excited about this new product. It's highly scratch resistant. It's half the weight and half the price of a glass dome port. We have an AR coating or an anti-reflective coating on the inside of it, uh, which gives it the characteristics of a good glass dome port, especially when you're dealing with bright and uh, sunlit backgrounds as well. And it's only $1,100. I'm gonna talk about the new CNC MDX L line of housings. Um, this is our existing line of housings with a few refinements and uh, some of them functional, some of them just accent things. The first thing you'll notice are the new silicone grips. Uh, they, they give a little bit better, more positive feel to the grip and a little less hand fatigue actually because you're not squeezing the grip um, like you would before we had that. The MDX L series also is going to come in two versions. We'll come in a version with a leak detector and without a leak detector. So depending on whatever the customer's preferences are, you can get it either way for them. Um, all the housings going forward, besides having the inserts, will also come with the baseball mounts, so that adds a little bit of extra value to the housing itself. We still have our original leak detector in there, which is just a red flashing light, but it's something so you actually have two leak detectors, a vacuum system, and a red light as well to boot. We've also added some yellow color accents. Our branding is black and yellow, of course, and the accents are put not on every control, but we put them on the key controls, sub-command and command dials. Um, the F dials, uh, C dials, C1 dials, C1, C2 dial, etc., etc. So that's the MDX L brand.